Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Continuing Legends of Arcane's second orc book. We're still on chapter six. This might be a three-parter. We'll see. Uh, just been hanging out here in the middle. It's only been, I don't know, a couple minutes since I recorded the last one. I, um, I defended one attack wave and then pretty much decided, you know, I could keep this off camera, but realized that it's actually, I think, pretty, like, holding out against the large enemy attacks is a lot more interesting. So I'm going to move these units up because I don't want things getting around me. And, uh, I'd say I'm pretty well prepared. Let's move on up. I'm going to stay in, in no upkeep for as long as possible. I think with our casting group, as long as we focus on, uh... Stunning units that rain of fire, like endless rain of fire. And uh, I might want to get some. Now I can go ahead and get like kind of a front line set up way up here in the front. Just move some of these guys up there and just make towers, burrows, what have you. Um, I think, I, you know, I hit a point in the second human book where I stopped tower spamming, but we're not there yet for the orcs. We really just are not there yet. So um, I'm just going to gonna tower spam unfortunately okay here comes an attack get in there I'm just gonna immediately firebolt all these guys use stuns where we can to stop them from using aoe we have one demolish them to keep you back yeah this is harmos's first attack okay casters stay back we can't stun his golem Again, having Edale off the map, though, is extremely useful. Let's just keep stunning Harmos. He's very strong. There we go. Okay, that attack went really well. We didn't even have to use Avenge. Is it the... Yeah, it's the Pegasus. So they're going to attack us from both sides as well. We're going to send the Outriders down to deal with these. That's going to get real annoying. Um, I'm going to make Warlords now. I'm going to stay in no upkeep for now. Guess we need more trackers as well. Okay, so let's grab some workers. We can repair this and then set up some towers along the edge. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, so they're going to keep sending... The demons will keep attacking us. Don't get me wrong, so we got to be ready for that. These guys can't attack properly because these things are immune to magic. Let's hit them with our demolishers at least. Wrath is bloodlusted. That's good. Okay, back up. Okay, still staying in no upkeep as long as possible. More warlords. I'd really like to keep Wrath alive if possible. Okay, let's focus fire, focus fire. So we got to get in there and try to take out Edale's base fully. Really just the rest of the demon gates. So we're still in no upkeep. I'm going to grab Warlord's Trackers. We have a Kodo Beast. It's going to get focused down, so I'll get another one. Not enough gold. That's the other thing, too, is I haven't really taken the time to stockpile the gold. Um, and you really need to do that, unfortunately, if you want to make progress here. And because now the enemies are, like, full-on attacking us, we're going to struggle to be able to finish off red while still, ma while still maintaining a solid defense out here in the front. Ah, uh, yeah, so those towers will do us good. These towers will do us well. You guys are on auto repair. That's fine. Our, our force is pretty beaten and broken right now. Ah, uh, Necrolites are so tempting because the skeletons, really. Okay, Warlords. We're going to get one round as well of uh, Demolishers. When that happens, we'll probably get attacked once or twice more. We have Avenge up. Um, if we, if we, what we can do is either use Avenge to push back the next enemy attack, or use Avenge to attack these guys. Let's get in there and finish these guys up. See, this is a relatively small attack. I suspect more is coming with it, but it's not out here yet. Yep, there it is. Okay, back, back Wrath out, please. Or he's going to be stunned forever. Okay, now we Avenge. God, this is so much shit. Yeah, I have I have to use Avenge. These attacks are ridiculous. Um, so is there a point to, like, normal difficulty? <laughs> Honestly, like, this is not normal, the size of these attacks. Um, I mean, I assume hard is way harder. But, like, why bother even having a normal difficulty if it's all going to be hard in the first place? 
I guess is my follow-up question to this. I really hate this hero. Rap hey, what are you doing? I just told you to keep attacking the... Yeah, there you go. This guy's immune to magic. The footman heroes always seem to have a magic immunity. Holy shit, I need lumber. Yes, be happy to. Okay, what's being built right now? More warlords. I only have one demolisher. That's not enough to kill that. Well, the demon gates have so much HP. I think we just got to get in there with melee units. I kind of want to just try going and attacking Edale again. I kind of want to just try it because Harmos and Kasserkin just attacked us. So this might be our opportunity to go and try to do some damage. So let's move in with everybody. Oh, okay. Intercepting this attack is great, because then again, that's one fewer thing that we have to worry about when we're going and attacking Edale. Yeah, they're not rebuilding. That's so good. Okay. Come back here and hit this. We gotta avoid the group that's up there. One elite is fine. We can draw him into us. Fucking elites, man. <laughs> Jesus. You know what? Leave that. I'm not worried about that. We have to go for, like, the meat of this base, which is up here. Never mind. Here's an enemy attack as well. Jesus Christ. Okay. Thank you, Avenge. I think this is the best place to use it. How do they know where I don't have defense at that exact moment? And that's exactly where they end up going every time. It's fascinating to me. As good as Avenge is, it's just not enough. It's just not good enough for this mission. It's Unholy Frenzy. There we go. And we're gonna dive into this base. You guys stay back. We're under attack. <laughs> now they're leaving. Sure. I'll take that. This almost definitely won't be successful. I just wanted to try it. Ignore all of this. We're going all the way to the back to the demon gates. The demon gates are the only things we need to destroy, and then Edale is out. It's so, like, you roll over here. Everybody just attack the demon gates. They are building stuff. We'll just have to focus stuff down as it spawns. I'm rebuilding units so that inevitably when we get attacked again, we can hopefully hold out. I think this is the only place where her units are spawning from anymore. So this is the key. Looks like it's building something now. Right on schedule. We're back in high upkeep, which is pretty good. If we can go kill the other Kasserkin base, that would be even better. Okay, attack it. Everybody just attack the demon gates. Yeah, honestly, these demon gates die faster um, to just normal units as opposed to get getting too many demolishers at this point. I'm gonna get a lumber mill over here too, or a war mill, whatever. Whew, I think by doing this, I, I am in much more solid shape. It's just, it's it's a lot. Where the heck did you come from? I guess they, <laughs> the, the doom guards build out of barracks? Give me a fucking break. Okay, you all back up. I'll take this group. We're gonna dive out to come here and say, "Oh my God!" I'm gonna try and save this group. Yes. Every production structure of Edales, if we can kill it, specifically where Doom, Doom Guards and Infernals are coming from, I think we did it. Okay, that's huge. I think this means we could take her base. 
which needs to happen. We need yeah. the additional income. You know what, Demolisher, keep doing your thing. We have to run these units out to save this area. Wrath, just give me a suicide uh, avenge here. Okay. Jesus. Kill their healers. Uh, okay, it's 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 working. That's dead. Demolisher, keep attacking. All who oppose the horde. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's grab a guy to come up here and get this base set up. This base will definitely not be left alone, though. You know they're gonna attack it, so we're gonna have to. Ah, of course. Jesus Christ, it's endless. All right, come on down here. Whew. Okay, looking good. We're gonna make peons here. What do you want? Something. Here comes Harmos coming to attack us. Uh, Wrath's probably gonna die. We need to spend our money as soon as possible, and I really need, need warlocks to stun these guys. All right, this area is fine. This area is fine. Probably gonna need more towers elsewhere for those Pegasus attacks that like to skirt around us. Let's quick save. If we can survive this orange attack, I am very confident. But we have to survive the orange attack. And they may actually be going around us right now. Nope, there they are. Okay. Get in there. We got a lot of warlords. I really hate these things. As if this wasn't bad enough. Alright, hit, Har hit Harmos back there. I could try to keep Wrath alive. I don't really know the benefit. Okay, let's get this set up. Yeah, the single demolisher still doing its thing. Yeah, again, they seem to know which area is not defended and somehow hit it. Like, StarCraft Brood War had a system like that, kind of. But this is not StarCraft Brood War. <laughs> okay, so we need Outriders, more Outriders. Yeah, see, now they're leaving. That's the other interesting thing. It's like they know, sort of, where to attack, and and then they just sort of, then they just turn around. They're like, okay, fine. <laughs> you win. Peons, just run away if you can. They might leave, yeah, it might leave you alone. That's fine. I'll rebuild some burrows. Yeah, see, now they're leaving. They have no idea where they want to go or what to attack. It seems fundamentally broken. Orange is leaving now, too. It's so weird. I, I, I'll I never understand it. Why, like, how this works. Um, this is almost definitely going to get blasted, but that's okay. Edale is technically still on the field because she's got a, a workshop over here. I can maybe take her out completely. It looked like Orange was sending a ta Oh, he comes from up here. I see. Okay, well, next we got to go for the green base on the right. Well, we don't have to, but that would be an ideal... That would be an ideal place to go. I'll try to get these peons up here. Wrath is back out. Okay, now I'm going to grab Warlocks. And Shaman. We need that spellcasting group back out. Harvesting away, harvesting away. This is gonna get, this has a lot of gold on it, so we need this base, absolutely. I really doubt that this is not gonna get attacked. It looks like Orange, though, kind of sets up their attacks here. We will hold the line for General Greymore for the Emperor. Oh, yes, here. Something you're doing? Here, keep them distracted. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to respond to that group. We'll see where they come from. Let's rally to Wrath for now. Trackers. Oh, of course. How did they know? Let's see if they turn around after they kill this. No, of course not. So cancel this. The AI just outright cheats, if that's not clear. They always know where your buildings are. <laughs> Every time. Maybe this will just keep d 
distracting them and going, having them come to different spots. Okay, this is probably worth an avenge. Ugh. It's like exhausting. I don't think, I just don't, this feels so much different than the second human book and I can't really explain why. Again, this feels so exhausting to play. And I don't think the second, the second human book had its moments, but this just feels worse than that. But I can't really explain why. Okay, so we have to move up and set up, like, a huge defensive wall right there, but we don't have the, the money to do it. But that's the key. I also want to destroy whatever this is. Need something. So I'm going to move this group up. I'm going to quick save because, again, we're not fully ready just yet. But if we can rally units over here and build, def and build uh, production up in this area, we'll be in great shape. And we stop them from getting through there. I need to build... That reminds me that I need to build... Tower spam here. For Pegasus. I'm gonna have to kill that, but I'd prefer to avoid it for now if possible. We could avenge it. Ah, we don't have avenge up yet. I do have some stuns for elites. So that's something. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it! These fucking things. It's hard to decide where to attack right now, that's the thing. Look at this brave man trying to save his buddies. Let's see if we can lure these guys to us. Bring them in. Avenge might be up about halfway through this engagement, and we're gonna try to stun the elites. It's also tr difficult to click on the elites. Keep on talking, human. I will enjoy cutting you open all the same. Sure. Just gonna keep stunning here. Unholy frenzy some of these guys. More warlords. Is this done? It is? Oh my god, get this saturated ASAP. Low upkeep is good. Let's get up here and finish this up. I don't need demolishers until I'm actually attacking. That's the thing. Stun the elites. And this guy. I guess I can also cripple the elites. I'm gonna debuff. Gotta debuff the elites. It's the only thing I can think to do. They have resistance skin, though, so it may not last very long. We'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm getting this base saturated, and then we're gonna spam out so many peons. Outriders, Warlords, apparently Warlocks are the main jam here. They they have been noticeably useful, let me tell you. Got a lot of Warlords, we're going to need more Outriders, we're going to need to spam air defense against um, possible Pegasus. We'll get even sets around this area next. Uh, okay, so let's quick save. It really just depends on what's going to happen next. Yeah, these guys can sit here on auto repair. Oh, those are unharvestable trees. I see. We need um, we need these guys down here on trees. This is acceptable. Okay, we're gonna get peons here to just spam build towers here for Pegasus, and then over here for the main enemy attack. See, they're trying to get by me. We have to engage this separately. So, like, hit this with a an avenge because that's a ton of war golems. I can't use uh. Unfortunately, I can't use Unholy Frenzy or Cripple on those. Seems like um, trackers would be really useful there. That's this right base, as far as I can tell. Jesus Christ! <laughs> is that the defensive force? It almost definitely is. My casters are stuck. My casters are stuck in the front. Oh, God. Best I can do is just cast spells before we're dead. And we're sort of dead now. I might want to do a reload there. I, I did not want to attack into this base just yet. 
Unless it was a double attack and it was just really bad luck. Which it could have been. Where's their hero? There he is. These footman hero heroes do so much damage. Like, we are so outclassed hero-wise. It's really unfair. Ah! We're gonna die. Are we gonna die to Unholy Frenzy? Can you die to Unholy Frenzy? I don't know. Their hero's gonna clean us up here, unfortunately. So what we really need are barracks. Get an altar here. Spirit lodges. We got one bestiary. Gonna get more peons, peasants, what have you. Yep, there's their hero cleaning us up, just like I anticipated. Okay. We're, we are alive for now. Let's see if we can just rally enough stuff up again. I think that was their defensive force. We can lure them out to us. Gotta get Wrath back out. We're in, we have like no supply. This is very bad. Gotta get all these set up. Oh, see, how did they, how do they know? All right, let's get these guys up here. Commander Herdos. Yeah, these Kasserkin commanders do, like, an absurd amount of damage. Might be able to save this. If not, I'm going to reload my save so that I, uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because we, we ran into that one main enemy attack that was almost definitely the defensive force of the other base. No, we can't handle that and then also run into Harmo. So let's reload this quick save. Need something. Let's just lure green slightly to us, not completely to us. I also need tower support, but I haven't been able to afford it yet. So let's get peons over here. We just need to tower spam this right here. And that'll push orange away from us. Orange doesn't... I think orange comes from here, but they leave this base alone, which is flipping amazing. All right, come over here, please. Just lure them. Help. Hello? He's gonna get stuck. Lure them over here. Okay, run please, the whole way. Caster stay in the back. I don't think I need to use Avenge here. Let's just hit these guys. Oh no, it is its own attack. You can run them on like a big wild goose chase on the outside of the castle. <laughs> Got to do what you got to do, you know? Okay, good. Now they're turning around. We can use Avenge on that group. Gonna make Warlords whatever we need to do. Hey, this guy's alive. Okay, now the larger attack, and this is where we're going to use Avenge. Is there a hero in here? Maybe it was a separate attack and... Oh my god, can you... It was the hero attack and their defensive force. I genuinely have no idea. Best I can do is hotkey my casters and just try to, to stun these guys. That's it. Okay, you know... It was bad, but not horrendous, I'd say. How can I help? Okay. So the next thing is get some more peons here, even more, because I want to make barracks, spirit lodges, a bestiary, here comes orange as well, man. A lot of our units are so low. Holy shit. Get in there. We gotta stun these guys and Harmos. And I, I mean, I'm spending my money as I get it. It's just, um... These attacks are very large and very frequent. Just the, the Kasserkin attacks that line up the way that they do uh, is just almost bad luck. Oh, man. 
I would, yeah, I would go so far as to say it's it's almost just completely bad luck with uh, the fact that these attacks are happening the way that they're happening. Like, I'm trying my best to get this stuff set up. I just don't have enough money to do anything. <laughs> like, at all. Um, which is, it's, it's agony. It really is agony. I have to re-hot key these now. Don't run all the way up there. They're gonna turn around and probably hit this base? Right? Like, why wouldn't they? We just gotta, let's lure these, uh... At least kill these Pegasus by running them all the way back. Orange? I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what Orange is doing. But I'm not gonna complain. Okay, we need Outriders. We're mining from three bases. There's Orange. Hey, at least, you know what? We can engage them under towers for once. That's something. Stun him. Man, that, that boulder throw does a ton of damage. Okay. I guess quick save? I don't really know. Okay, you guys run over here. This guy's gonna auto-repair forever. Ha! Okay. Warlocks. Warlords. Right over here. Rally over here. And we're gonna make sets of towers, again, kind of around, along this whole stretch. Great. I don't know where you're going, but that's the wrong place for you to be. Those were large attacks. Now we have an opportunity to, to get some money and actually build stuff. So let's try to do that. Let's get a Kodo Beast. These Warlocks have been really useful, trying to just keep building those. I might want to get more Spirit Lodges. Jesus Christ! You just attacked me! Like I said earlier, like, what... What is the point of having a difficulty selection if this is just the way that the normal quote-unquote difficulty is? Jesus Christ, give me a break. Okay. Now... <laughs> I canceled Avenge. Oh my god. Did I- I don't know- I don't know the last time I quicksaved, so it's really not worth, I think, me trying to re- re reload. I think we can survive this. I really hate this Herdos guy. He's terrible. We gotta try to find his- I think his base is the one to the left, and we can destroy that. Lumber now. Are these harvestable trees? Yes, they are. We need peons here. Make outrunners. Maybe kill their hero. Well, I think we have to reload. I, if I wouldn't have canceled the Venge, we probably would be okay. But like, I swear the caster can just attacked us in what was seemed like less than two minutes ago. So um, it's I just don't know how to set up forward defense on all this. Ready to ride. I don't know. Apparently, we want to keep making lots of towers over there. Yes, Chieftain. We can move up here. Let's get Shaman. For Bloodlust. And then Trackers. And because most of the attacks come from this direction, I think this is where we got to set up the towers. I mean, we know this is, this is the direction they attack us from first. It's from two directions, right? It's here and to the right. It almost feels like it's almost like a rush. Like you have to get rid of these bases because these attacks are absurd and there's like, it's very challenging to survive. But at the same time, it's like nearly impossible because they attack so frequently. There's no way that we can kind of get up there to do it. All right, get up there, please. And then, yeah, the, uh, and then the other Kasserkin commander comes. I don't know, man. 
Okay, Bloodlust should help us at least a little bit until the other Caserkin attack comes. Just gotta keep stunning this guy. Yeah, here we go. So now we have to avenge. This may do it. I don't know. Everything is so much HP, it's kind of hard to tell what would actually help us win. Jesus Christ. I'm so tired of being stunned. I think it's just random bashes. We can at least kill one of the heroes. Look at his health regen. This is just silly. I thought last mission... Oh, no. Just he's going to hit him once and then kill him. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I think uh, it looks like Tower Spam is the name of the game. Again. <laughs> I thought we were past that. I really did. I saw that Shaman just get blasted. Hey, we survived that attack. Wrath is practically dead, but if we can keep him alive to at least... If we can keep him alive to at least... Um, Avenge one more time. And I'm gonna build build more towers. And then more peons for lumber at this point. Jeez, I I I I I, I, I think I'm verging on just using cheats. I'm very this is exhausting. Like this is not enjoyable to play. I say uh, a lot of arcane maps do this to me though. But, like, I'm using a lot of the tools at my disposal. I don't know what I can do that would make this any better. Surprisingly, I actually... I need lumber, so I guess we'll get peons down here. Get over there. I don't want to avenge this if I don't have to, but I think I'm going to have to. I have towers for those. Okay, that's fine. And then I've got a lot of peons here. we got to get these guys back on gold. I'm going to start setting up more towers. And then even more tower. Yeah, I, need, I mean, I need more lumber in order to set up more towers. So we're kind of we're like constantly constrained one way or another. Just make outrunners. That's all I can afford right now. Yeah, those are fifty lumber. Yeah, I guess I can handle that. So maybe if we can get some of these defensive lines set up before the next attack, I'll be in better shape. What I'm not doing is stopping them from being able to walk out the front and attack my base that way. But I think they know now that this is here, so like this is where they're going to attack from particularly. Ugh. <laughs> this is grindy and it's worse than usual. How does that happen? Are we gonna, we're going to run out of gold in our main base here pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Maybe I should have just turtled in this base, mined out the entire gold mine in no upkeep. The upkeep changes are nice, but like they're pretty much necessary. They don't really allow you to be more aggressive earlier like I would have expected. I think really the, the ultimate outcome is that they simply just... It, it just it, it kind of opened the door to make the AI worse. Uh, worse is in like harder, I suppose. But you know, we've got Avenge. Best thing I can do now is try to push over to the right and get rid of a base up there, or we can go for Order of the Flame. It's a lot of towers. It unfortunately is the only way. And if we're able to stockpile resources by queuing up a bunch of towers, then so be it. The, again, the frequency of these attacks is, is like, almost absurd. Do, did watchtowers get buffed? They, it feels like they're doing a lot more damage, so I think, I think the tower spam is what we needed from the get-go. It didn't really, it didn't really kick in, but it's, 
it's it's definitely pretty good. Like, look how effectively we were able to hold out against that attack. So I take it back. This is not, this is not the worst thing ever, but you know, I, I get just getting a little salty. Uh, just avenge here. Okay, and that means Orn should be coming for us soon. Okay, they're not trying to get out of the castle anymore. They know we've got a foothold here. So yeah, look, we're stockpiling money now. The best thing I can do is is try to get rid of the rightmost base. I think that's the that's step number two. We have even more towers. It, yeah, it feels like these towers got buffed. And maybe they have. I don't know. Uh, the other thing, too, it's like I said earlier, the, the main noticeable difference here is that we don't have any tools at our disposal to make this particularly enjoyable or interesting or give us any sort of advantage. Or even really put us at a stalemate. Like, we're at a stalemate because of towers. Eh, it is what it is. All right, so again, that's going to get mined out. We have to stay in no upkeep for a while. I think we have to. How can I help? Mm. So we're going to make outrunners. Brutish wolf riders. Give me Kodo Beast, too. And then Warlocks. Yes. Warlocks, man, they're putting it down. I've been using them. Um, again, I'm trying to think of like what the most effective way to approach these are, these missions. There's Harmos. we got to stun these two. Rat's trying to get through. He's, you know, I want to hit him with a rock. There you go, buddy. Wrath, because you're going to die, we can at least put you back here to attack the... There we go. Use the stuns to our advantage. Deep breaths. <laughs> Deep breaths, Jay Barino. Getting tilted. Blaming the creator. I mean, this is this is exact. It is this is your fault, Shartanjit. <laughs> but we've been through a lot in Arcane. You know, getting tilted now is not the end of the world. Uh, now we can start getting warlords again. We need demolishers because I want to destroy that base. Where the hell are you going? Oh, those are um. I know what those were. That's fine. Let those come and attack us. We have enough towers to handle those in each of these locations. Creeping with tower spam. Let's get some trackers as well. And because we're going to collapse this gold mine soon, it, I think it's very tempting to sit in no upkeep. With the tower spam that we've finally been able to fully set up. Oh, hey, look, at we left this guy back here. Here, get up here. Um, because of the tower spam we have set up, I can afford to hold out now for virtually ever and sit in no upkeep. You may have mentioned in the very first episode I talked about this, and I was kind of hopeful with the change to the upkeep system that this would be not how these maps function, but here we are. Uh, it is what it is. I'm going, I'm stabilized. I'm stabilizing. We're good. I hang, I hung on for dear life. Two really hard macro maps in a row. No break. No ally. No easily accessible gold mine that is not attacked in some way or another. Like, this one was nice to take, but again, we weren't able to really hold on to it. You need so many peons also on lumber. It's, like, kind of surprising how much lumber we need here. Get a few more down here. These guys are harvesting away as well. There's, in theory, endless lumber down in this direction. Let's grab a lumber mill there. Uh, Warlords and, and Trackers, I think, are our main options here. Let's get some more Shaman, actually. I'm going to wait for the Kasserkin to come and attack us one more time. And then I'm going to make... The, well, I can start the Demolishers now. I want to get maxed out on Demolishers. And that's how we can win. I think. I'm going to get one more round of Outriders. Or Trackers, rather. Here comes one set of Kasserkin. Again, we want to engage them under the towers. There's their hero. We want to keep Wrath alive for sure. 
Uh, I mean, what I can do is just pick units to stun. I'm not going to Unholy Frenzy. I think that would be a mistake. Bloodlust also putting it down. Where's Wrath? He's in there. Try to kill him before... Yeah, stun him before he uses his ultimate to get a shit ton of HP. Okay, so the next group of... The, the next group should come and attack us soon. I'm going to get two sets of Demolishers. Here's this group. With the Demolishers coming out, that's where we're going to go and attack. Get some more Shaman. Alright, they're eating arrows. It's the only way, <laughs> unfortunately. I hate this man. He doesn't have defend, though. Okay, so now we our towers should be able to hold out here. You guys come on over here and go on auto repair. We have demolishers coming out. I'm going to quick save because we might not have enough. I might need to get more um, more production out. Okay, let's get over there. Yeah, start attacking. We have avenge. When they, they're they going to come over here with their uh, defensive force. We want to make sure we avenge. They did just attack us, so maybe they used the majority of their defensive force to do that. So this is our chance. Get in there. Going to get our demolishers in here. Here comes the defensive force. It's not that large. I'm going to save Avenge, I think, because Orange is probably going to come and attack us here pretty soon. Orange, yeah, is just going to go ahead and uh, walk into towers, and I'm going to rely on those towers to keep us alive. Looks like he can. I don't mind tower spam. It was just I had expectations that I wouldn't have to tower spam prior to this. But it's okay. I, I've, again, I've stabilized around the tower spam. I know it's, it is a thing. It is the way it is. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. Some things will never change. Big group there. That's a good avenge, I'd say, because here they come. Right there, baby. Ah, fuck you. Stun him. Cripple him. Hit him with a rock. Okay, let's move on in and just keep pushing against green. Okay, I'm going to need more peons to repair. Let's just move them over here. I wish that you could set the peons to start with auto repair already enabled. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, back up here. Wrath is actually still alive. How long on Avenge? Not that long. Okay, let's cover the... Oh, my casters are dead. We definitely need more of those. Get Warlocks and more Shaman as well. Bloodlust is pretty important. Okay, we got towers for that. That's fine. Keep pushing straight in here. Harmos probably going to be attacking us soon. Go straight for the castle. Okay, you all get up here and auto repair. What are you all waiting for? There's there's trees right over here. Go, go, go. Oh, whoops, I never changed the... <laughs> A few too many guys on, uh, on, on gold now. Get repairing, get repairing. Castle is gone. Getting rid of this hero is going to be so flippin' incredible, because he is the worst. He is terrible. <laughs> You'd think, like, the frontmost base wouldn't have one of the worst heroes, but yeah, this one is real bad. Okay, we gotta go Cannon Tower Altar. Get these guys up here. We have some casters again. I'm expecting Orange to show up at any moment to try to stop us. Okay, you'll need to get up here and cover the catapults. I'll even stun these guys to do it. I'll, I'll lose the demolishers just so I can stop this guy from spawning again. Great, okay. It seems like when you kill the altar and the castle and workers, that's when all the production stops. Like, this already started building, but... Uh, yeah, this should be pretty sufficient. 
We've got casters. Oh, what a relief. All right, that's two bases down. Tower spam, baby. Tower spam. And guess what? We got another base to set up over here where there will be even more tower spam. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? Those workers that were that were idle up uh, further in my old base, it's because that gold mine got depleted. That's why. So now we gotta pick a direction. I would like to find Harmos's base. That would be the ideal. That would be the ideal place to, to go. But let's just clear this out. I don't want to completely block the passageways where they come down with uh, with towers. I want to kind of keep the towers closer to my base to ensure that uh, to ensure that uh, our units can get out. And also, it'll draw their units in just a little bit closer, as opposed to getting bottlenecked on the ramps, because like that'll that won't work well with artillery that they're gonna have set up. Okay, now we have the money that we've always needed. <laughs> now we've got it. Holy shit. Yes, Chieftain. No okay. Again, first two episodes, y'all got some Salty J. I hope you enjoyed it. It is just the way it is. Now that we got our foothold. We fought for this foothold, though. I mean... Sometimes tower spam, you got a tower spam. It is the way it is. Okay, the main attacks still seem to be primarily coming over here from the left. So let's get over there. Harmos can probably break through these towers if we're not careful. Ha <laughs> ha! This side of towers, though, is really working out. We'll rebuild all this, don't you worry. You know how it is. So many peons. Reinforcements coming in. I don't have anything that can stun in this group though, so we just gotta we just gotta hit him with rocks. That's the only thing that can stun. I don't have any warlocks. Harmos seems to be coming from the left, so that's where we've got to attack. There's another Kasserkin base somewhere too. Sweet baby Jesus. Okay. What is your will? I suppose, here, let's go and look. Let's go see what's up here. Well, not there, but over here. Once this is done, we get a bunch of peons. I'm gonna rebuild these towers, because again, this area seems to be like the area to defend. Uh, Pegasus, I imagine. Okay, got more peons coming out. Of course, it's on the one side that isn't really well defended. Keep repairing, buddy. We're getting closer. <laughs> oh, man. Back up. I wanted to lure these guys down here so we could kill them, the pre-placed guys. Give them some stuns. Cripples. I guess I need even more tower spam over on this side. And then we got more workers here where I'm going to set up more towers because it seems like the top is where the primary attacks come from. There we go. And then we have a little group over here. We got some guys auto-repairing. It's a lot of towers. Getting this set up, and I'd say we're just about ready to build a new attack force to go and pick which direction do we want to go, right? So we have to come, like, up here. I should scout this out first. You know what? No, this is a good spot to stop. When we come back, I will... Oh, okay, here comes a group. Uh, Rath, why don't you come on over here? Yes. Let's push back this attack, and then this is a good spot to stop. So, this fucking commander... 
Sajaz is a pain in the ass. Can't cripple those, but we can stun the healers in the back. Full fucking HP. All right, let's move these units over as well. Let's consolidate for a moment, sit in, in no upkeep, and get some more peons down here on Lumber as well. Look at this jerk. What? I wonder what his ultimate is, because I haven't really seen him use anything. Command Aura. I should be purging these, these heroes. That's probably a big thing, too. Inner Fire is not a good thing to allow them to have. We killed the other Kasserkin commander, who was a much bigger pain in the ass, that's for sure. Okay. If you don't think I'll build even more towers, you are sorely mistaken. Okay, this is a great spot to stop. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll see you next time. And we'll complain our way to the finish. It's the Jay Barino staple. All right, bye. <laughs> see you then.